Lacey G's Mighty Might is tied on a very unique jig hook. This jig has a flat weighted front, or flat, flat jigged front. It's a jig hook that is not commercially available anymore. It's a fly that Dale Sanders wants to bring back into production and this jig was cast by Dennis Steed who gave me a couple hooks to tie the Mighty Might on. I'll put a link to Dennis Steed's YouTube channel in the description below if you want to watch some of his videos and maybe contact him through a comment in a video. So I am tying it with the original orange thread as prescribed originally and originally tied when this fly was tied commercially by the Wapsie Fly Company back in the beginning of the 1930s. So fluorescent orange thread and I'm just covering the shank. Then the tail is marabou and the Instructions say that you can use any color marabou, but I think white was used originally. And it's a pretty full tail. It's at least a hook shank or longer. So I'm going to just go ahead and tie in a bunch of marabou. Now what I've done with this particular piece of marabou is clipped out the center stem to get rid of those straight uh, fibers that are at the back of the stem. Go ahead and tie that in. Now you can control your marabou a little bit more by wetting it if you want to, if, you, if you're finding that it's out of control. But I didn't do that with this piece. So I'll go ahead and clip out the butt end of that marabou feather. And all of this is going to get covered up here in the front. So I'm not too concerned about how clean I'm making it. So I'll just tie that marabou in back to above the barb on the hook. And that looks like a fairly good tail. Could be even thicker. The body on this fly, it, it, the recipe, original recipe calls for silver chenille, tinsel chenille. I'm going to be tying it with some just, uh, I don't know, what do you call this? Clear, clear tinsel? Just regular pearl tinsel, I guess it would be a pearl tinsel chenille. And again, the recipe says that it can be tied with any color marabou tail and any kind of uh, tinsel chenille. Although I think the originals were tied in silver, but this pearl works just as well. And then this is a obviously a jig fly. This particular fly is uh, 1 64th of an ounce. And it can be tied on sizes 6 through 12. So wrap the chenille body and then I'll catch that in and secure underneath of it. Clip off the extra chenille. And then it's kind of an attractor fly, so uh, bass, panfish, it can be used for trout as well. But besides the flat uh, jig head on it that originally uh, was chromed, I think, uh, 
it has this orange attractor behind that jig. So that's really it for this particular fly. Uh, the unique jig head and the marabou tail, the tinsel chenille of some kind, and a bright attractor behind the head. If you want to do red, it imitates gills more, but the orange acts as an attractor. So this then is Lacey G's Mighty Might, originally produced by Wapsi Fly Company, developed originally in 1930.